Robert Tunyon, a local Chicago kid from McHenry, is entering his sixth season in the NFL and is looking to take off for the Chicago Bears thanks to reuniting with offensive coordinator Luke Getze, along with playing for a much-improved Justin Fields and the good duo of him and Cole Komet, another Chicago kid. Tunyon has had the fortune of playing with future Hall of Fame quarterback Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay his entire career and said that Fields is something special and should look forward to even after when being asked how how what it was like to play for Aaron Rodgers and what is the comparison for Justin Fields. He also had a career year under Luke Getze's offense up in Green Bay with 11 total touchdowns. I'll get a little bit more into that later, but this guy is a touchdown scoring machine thanks to Luke Getze. I cannot wait to see what he does for the offense this year and I'm going to break down why. Hello and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde and thank you for tuning in as always. Tunyon is going to be a fan favorite thanks to his huge personality, a local Chicago kid, his impact on and off the field, and again, being that homegrown kid in McHenry, Illinois, he's going to have a lot of Bears fans on his side. And he's going to help take this offense to new heights, and I'm going to explain why. Before we begin, please make sure to hit the like button on this video. Put your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you haven't already, and if you please could, hit that subscribe button. Tunyon is a 6'5", 237-pound athletic tight end from the Indiana State University. He's a 4.7, 40 times the same as Cole Komet, making him very fast for a man that's size and he is an absolute monster and a nightmare against defenders thanks to his great vertical as well be also being 6-5 because he wins 50-50 balls alone just for his size but also super fast tight end great at blocking has insane strength he has everything that you want in a TE2 in 2022 for the Green Bay Packers last year he played in all 17 games starting three of them with 53 receptions very impressive for only starting three of them 470 receiving yards, 8.9 yards per catch with two touchdowns. But that wasn't his career year. His career came in 2020 when he played in 16 games, started eight of them with 52 receptions for 568 yards, 11.3 yards per catch, and he was a red zone nightmare for defenders, scoring 11 touchdowns as a TE2. Again, a giant man with crazy mobility for his size, has very strong hands that doesn't allow him to have a ton of drops. He is also a great blocking tight end upfield, taking out smaller defenders. He's very good at fighting for first downs as his career average is a 10.3 yard per catch, meaning that his average is always getting a first down. And again, that 50-50 ball winner is something that Justin Fields needs when he's able to toss it up when he's under pressure. This offense is fast. So in order to have a fast offense, everyone's got to be fast along with it, even the big guys, and that's what Tunyon brings. That's going to help the offense expand a ton more and also beat out defenders. He is also a huge pass blocker, which is really big for Justin Fields, as teams are going to be blitzing a lot since they know they may be able to still rattle Fields a little bit from last season. And also this offensive line is still great growing, but he's going to be able to use that speed and strength to not only block defenders, but also get open quickly when needed. I think that he's going to have at least five touchdowns this season because he does so well in Luke Getze's offense. He knows he's going to be a problem and he's also on a one-year contract. So either he needs to prove to the Chicago Bears that they need to keep him, or if he wants to go play for someone else next year, he's worth the money. I think that he's going to expand this offense a ton, having two talented ton tight ends along with them being both young and big and fast is always good for any sort of offense. So I'm very excited about Robert Tanya. Put your thoughts in the comment section below about what you think about the situation. If you think Tanya is going to either stay around for a while and what his impact is going to be on this offense. But with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, have a great night.